Hi, welcome to Justine's Paper Crafting Tutorials. Today we're doing the three cards, one stamp series, and this is the last card for the January month. We're going to start off by taking a card base out of the Fog cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. It's measured at four and a quarter by five and a half inches long. I'm going to take a piece of the Bow Bunny paper and glue that on using my Tombow Mono Glue. As you've noticed throughout the last three videos, I've tried to use mostly the same products so that you don't, if you're interested in making these cards or investing in some of these products, then it's only a few you need to buy and it's not a ton. So I use this all from the January card kit of the month from Simon Says Stamp, but all the individual projects are available since that card kit is sold out. All right, just going to make sure that that stays on there nicely. And I got glue all over my hands there, so I just need a minute. All right, so then I'm going to take some of the Bow Bunny Altitude paper. I am in love with this paper. I think it is just so gorgeous. I'm really debating about ordering a full pack of it just because I like it that much. I got 12 sheets with the card kit. and Anyway, I've been so inspired and have made so many cards with it. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set this off to the side and then work on my actual sentiment for the card. This is a pretty simple sketch card, you could say. I'm going to be using the star stamp set of the month and this is the handwritten winter wishes and I'm going to be just checking out a few different sentiments here to see what would fit. I did notice that thinking of you fit better. I just threw in fast mode for a second here while I arranged my stamps onto my piece of paper. This is the neutral cardstock from Basil. I'm going to ink this up using Memento Black ink. My memento, I think, is slowly running out of juice here after a very long life. I noticed that when I've been stamping lately, it hasn't been um, stamping very clearly and giving more of a vintage look, which I don't really mind. Um, I ended up going through afterwards and just filling in a little bit of it with a black marker. All right, and next I'm going to stamp that um, sort of squiggly line underneath the sentiment. I didn't put them both on the stamp press at the same time because I wanted to get them closer together than the acrylic stamp would allow me to, so I stamped them twice separately. After stamping, I decided that it needed a mat to go on the card. It got lost in the paper there a little bit when I was trying to put it down just by itself. So I added this mat, also came with the paper pack, and just cut it down to be about a quarter of an inch bigger than the actual sentiment neutral cardstock. And I think that gave it a really nice contrast on both of those pattern papers on the background. I added some 3D foam tape and stuck that down onto my card. Using the white pigment ink from Simon Says Stamp, I stuck on this little snowflake onto my one by one block and inked it up. You don't need to touch it, you just need to very lightly touch it to the ink pad because pigment inks are quite juicy and a little bit messy and gooey. So I did a couple of them on the patterned paper. It made a really subtle um, effect on the light one and I think it added just that little extra something on the darker paper. Overall, I was pretty satisfied with the look of this. After going around through all of my embellishments, I found these snowflake sequins from Simon Says Stamp, and I decided that they would be a perfect final touch for the card. So I tried to stay away from the sort of blue iridescent ones and pick up the white and silver ones. With my pick-me-up tool here, I just put some glue on my craft mat. I do that quite often and just kind of dip in my fussy embellishments like sequins and things like that. I find it works best because um, you can just wipe away the glue afterwards and you can just kind of dip it in there instead of trying to glue the back of each individual one and then sometimes you get too much glue and it squeezes out the sides and ends up being a big mess. So overall that's the technique that I've been using that I've been really satisfied with and had the best results with. So I just added a bunch of them kind of all around the card here, one sort of underneath the mat, or the sentiment mat there and I think it just added a really cool shiny look to the card. So I hope you enjoyed the January part of this series. The Three Cards One Stamp will be live again in February, second week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thank you so much for watching.